Hey ladies and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a hygiene shopping video at Target. So today it's a Saturday morning. I just got up, I got my eyebrows done and your girl needs to restock on some hygiene products. So that's where we're headed. I'm just stopping at the ATM to deposit some money and then we're gonna head right to Target. I know a few things I have on my list but you know how it is when you go to Target. You have a list and then you just have things that you decide to get while you're at target so that's how it's going to be today with this target trip i do need to get shaving cream a body oil um there was another thing i need to re-up on a razor so i just need to get like kind of like shaving products um but yeah we're gonna see what else target lets us know we need so if you're not already make sure you guys subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into the hygiene shopping So we just got into Target and I'm in the shaving section now. I'm trying to decide what kind of razor and shaving cream I want. Oh, I always like the Venus ones, but I don't know if I want to get the same one or try out a different one. Like they have these, two of them for $6.99. I always need to get like the five blade. Oh, these are three blades. No, no. Where's the five blade ones? Yeah. That's one thing you need is five blade razor when you're shaving anything because if it's not five blade, I just don't think it's good. So this one is like the Target brand five blade for $5.99. It's not bad. I might get this one. I'm gonna see if there's another one I like. I'm just gonna get this one. It's two five blade razors and it says compared to the Venus. So I'm just gonna get this one because this one's literally $3.99. Like what the heck? And then, of course, I'm going to get the Vanilla EOS Shave Cream because I literally love this and it smells like a vanilla cupcake. Those two things, the sh razors and the shaving cream. Now I need some to find like some body oil. I thought it would have been in that same aisle, but it wasn't. So let's go look for that. I absolutely love Method Body and Native. I honestly don't know which one I like better. These ones are also super good too. I'm always so torn on which one to get when I come here. I think I'm gonna do this one just because we're sticking with the vanilla scent. So let's add this. Now for the body oil, they have this random one here, but I'm pretty sure this isn't the spot you're supposed to go in. But this is what I want to find. I wonder why it's in. So let's go see where we can find some body oil. Actually, while I'm here, I do, this isn't hygiene related, but I do need to get some just hand soap for the bathroom. So we're gonna go with this milk and honey. We're gonna go with this milk and honey one. I can never come to Target and not spend $100. Like, I don't know why it's such like a struggle for me. It just is. Just ran out of my EOS lotion. And honestly, I just do not see the hype around it. Like, I don't know what it is. It's mo it's not that moisturizing. It smells amazing, but it's just not that moisturizing. And when I'm not on a, like when I'm gonna spend money on lotion, I want it to really keep my skin moisturized, you know? About me and like filming in public, I get such bad anxiety filming in public. Cause it's like, I cannot stand when people stare at me when I'm filming. And it's like, I've been getting a little better at it, but it's still like such a struggle for me, especially when I'm by myself and like not with my boyfriend. I just feel like there's so much people that just like want to know what you're doing and why you're just like speaking to a camera that they just stare. But I just hate when people stare at me cause it's like me, when people stare, I really want to ask them like what they're looking at. But I know like a lot of people don't mean bad by it. They're just like curious, I guess. But it just gets me aggravated, I don't know why. Does anyone else deal with that? Like, you just hate when people stare at you or just like, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. But yeah, we gonna get back to this video and not let that stop us because we've been doing good so far. So the next thing on my list is an exfoliator. I do have one at home, but it's kind of running low and I just want a different one. I feel like I've been using it for so long that I'm just like ready for a new one. I don't know if I should get the Dove one. I don't think I've ever tried the Dove one or if I should just go and get the Tree Hut one. Ooh, this one does sound good though. The Dove brown sugar and coconut butter. That smells so good. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the Dove exfoliators or the Tree Hut better. Like I've always been a Tree Hut girly, but I don't know. I don't know if it's time to try something different or just stick to the original. I did end up getting this body oil. I never used this one, so I'm curious on how it is, but I've honestly seen this in a lot of people's TikTok, so we'll give it a try. Uh, if you are not using TheraBreath, or however it's pronounced, you're doing it wrong, because this stuff leaves my mouth feeling so clean after you brush your teeth. I still have a whole bottle, because I got like the big size last time we came, so I don't need it yet, but this is A1. I get the blue one. 
So I ended up going back and getting the vanilla one. Oh my god, why is it so sticky? Do you see that? Let me go back and get another one. So that one is all like sticky on it. So I'm gonna go back and get another one because I don't know what someone did to that, but that's gross. You won't let these niggas touch you. We just got out of Target. Like I said, I didn't get I didn't get too much because this was kind of just like a re-up trip and I didn't need that much stuff, but I did get what I need. Now I'm about to go home and use all this stuff. I'm gonna dermablade my face and you know, just take a everything shower if you know, you know. But yeah, um, today is ho is so hot right now. It's 85 degrees. Let me take this turn. But I just feel like today is Saturday. I feel like on the weekend, I just like reset. And this is just like a hygiene reset, self-care reset type of day. You know, I'm going to take my everything shower. I'm going to wash my hair. I did put like oil in it last night. That's what I've been doing just to keep my hair really healthy. Because I don't know if you guys have watched my previous vlogs. It was like probably like almost three months ago or four months ago now i actually cut my hair my hair was literally so long and i cut it and i regret it so bad like i literally wish i never cut my hair i don't know what i was thinking like in my head i was just thinking like oh let's just cut it and kind of start over and it be healthy but i hate it i just want a long hair again let me go home and um update you guys then i just got home from target i got all the stuff that i bought right here I did end up going to the dollar store and just picked up some Fabuloso because I need to mop my floors. I should have got it while I was at Target, but I completely forgot. And then I just picked up some bleach and some disinfectant wipes. This is what I love wiping down my counters every day with and stuff. So yeah, I'm about to go shower. I'm going to dermaplane my face. Guys, if you guys know, do you dermaplane your face like before you get in the shower or before you wash your face or after? Like I always don't know. I need to actually look that up on like TikTok or something just to see if I'm doing it correctly hopefully i am but yeah we're about to take this real good shower and use this vanilla shave cream we're gonna moisturize my whole body with the vanilla tea tree oil scrub i mean i said tea tree oil tree hut scrub and then we're gonna you know shave our legs and everything so yeah i'm about to hop in the shower and i will update you guys when i get out Excuse the lighting, it's bathroom lighting and it's not that good, but we're gonna wash our face and then I'm gonna dermaplane my face. So this is the face wash I use, it's the Cetaphil or Cetaphil, however you pronounce it. Combination to oily, sensitive skin, extra, gen extra gentle daily scrub. So I love this one. This one and La Roche Posay's are literally my favorite. Let's put some water on my face. Some of this. Now I'm just gonna put now I'm just gonna put that all over my face while we dermably. I'm gonna just sit here. Ooh, this is a good angle, so. I love doing this like either every two weeks or like once a month because you just see all like the dead skin and the peach fuzz that's on your face and after doing this like your makeup comes out soft I mean your your makeup comes out smoother your skin just looks smoother I just love it one thing use a new blade every single time you do this I'm trying not to get too close to my eyebrows because I just just got them done like what is this on my face? It's literally just a red mark. It's not even like a bump or anything. So now since we did that, I am going to go in with just some skincare. So I am going to use, I'm going to start off with some toner. This toner literally has lasted me so long, it's crazy. Just going with a little toner. I don't know why I'm having like little red marks. It's not bumps, it's just like red marks. I don't know. And now for serums, I'm going to use this one by Kiehl's. I'm just going to apply some of this caffeine solution to my under eyes just to prevent dark circles and puffiness. And next, collagen and retinol. Just gonna use a little bit of this because this one's super thick. The La Roche Posay moisturizer to lock that all in. This 
me, I always try to do my skincare first just because I don't like having like any other products on my hands when I do my skincare. And I know I could like wash my hands, but honestly, I don't feel like doing all that. Just do my skincare first and then my body and then my hair. Okay, so now that my skincare is done, let's go oil up this body. So like I showed you earlier, I bought this one from Target today. I've never used this. So this is going to be my first time using this. Ew. I just got oil in my mouth. Why did I open it like that? Goodness. Oh my god, this is so... It's dripping already. But body oil definitely moisturizes your skin and just makes it feel super soft. And that's what I love. So Especially because I just shaved. I want this open. Okay. So I'm going to apply it to my legs first. And it literally, oh, this smells good. It makes your skin look so like glowy and soft, especially I love putting it like on my foot tattoos because it really just like makes them pop. So now that I just oiled up my whole body, I just put my robe on because I don't want to put clothes on like right after I oil my body up. I like to just like put my robe on and let the oil just like seep into my skin because I just hate being uncomfortable. Like, I don't know. I talk about this a lot. Like, I don't know what it is. I just like cannot stand being uncomfortable. It literally makes me like have a panic attack. It's so weird. I don't know. But I'm just rambling. But yeah, I'm just going to wait a little bit to get dressed. And I am. I think I'm going to blow out my hair. But I'm going to wait a little bit. Because your girl wants to make a coffee. In the meantime, I'm going to let it like air dry a little bit. And then I'll blow it out once it's a little bit more done. I recently did get this from Target. And this is the Curl Talk Mousse from Not Your Mother's brand. And because I've been really trying to find a like a wavy hair routine. Like one thing about my hair, it's super wavy. It's definitely far from straight. Like as it dries, I literally have some ringlets, like especially like in the back back here. But I feel like I cannot get like a good wavy hair routine because my hair's wavy. But I feel like ever since having my daughter, my hair has been super like fine. And a lot of it always falls out in the shower. So I've been just like trying to, sh I've been just struggling a little bit, trying to find like what my hair care routine should be. Because I'm trying to really like, stop putting so much heat in it because i tend to just like straighten it a lot just because i hate how it looks my natural hair is just like so frizzy every single day so i did try this a few times but it just makes my hair really like hard and crunchy and i don't really like that so i've been just using this for my daughter's hair because if you guys know she does have super super curly hair but that's what i've been trying to do just figure out like a good wavy hair routine i've been looking up so many on tiktok but it's like i also don't want to just like go and splurge on all these products and me not like them so i don't know i might like book a hair i might book an appointment with a hairstylist and kind of just like you know see what they say about my hair whether i need to trim or not like i was saying earlier i'm trying to make it grow so i've been really trying to like oil it and just really take care of my hair because i want it to grow again because i miss my long hair so much like especially these pieces right here like, last time I did get my hair cut, or, like, the last two times, they basically cut these, but, like, they made me curtain bangs, and I did not want curtain bangs. I don't know why, like, they did that. So, when I got it cut in, like, I think it was September, they cut it here. So, my hair has grown, like, that much since September, which I feel like is pretty good, but I just hate it because it's so thick. So, like, when I'm, I have my hair in a ponytail, they just, like, hang. I'm probably rambling, so let me just stop, but, yeah. I did just get dressed and oh my god y'all like my body feels so soft like it honestly feels softer when I just put this oil on than it does with just like regular lotion like this is the lotion I've been using which I absolutely love it's super moisturizing but I don't know I just feel like my skin is so much softer with this and it doesn't leave like that and it doesn't leave like that sticky type feel like for a little bit, it was, you know, just oily, but I feel like it really, like, seeped into my skin really good. So, I'm definitely going to keep that and, you know, have that as part of my hygiene routine. Like I said, I'm going to make a coffee and wait a little bit till my hair air dries, and then I'm going to blow it out. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I will have another, like, self-care or Sunday reset vlog going up really soon because I do need to get these nails desperately done 
probably this weekend or like Monday or Tuesday because I know they're closed on Mondays. But yeah, I'm definitely getting a pedi and my full set done again soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that vlog. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to your girl. I'm almost at 20k on TikTok, so go follow me on there. And I'm trying to grow on Instagram, so if you guys could go give me a follow on there. I'd appreciate it so much. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye, ladies.